I've been looking forward to making this video since we started this YouTube channel. He sure has, because Hawaii is a great place to snorkel. Did you know that there are over 400 species of reef and inshore fish that are here in Hawaii? You'll even get the chance to snorkel with Hawaii's famous state fish, the Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Aku A'a. Yeah, you'll get to swim with that fish. <laughs> All right, but there is more to snorkeling than just throwing on a mask and some fins and heading out there. So this guide is gonna help you get started. And stay to the end because we share our favorite, most unique spots to snorkel on each of the Hawaiian Islands. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. We get so many great emails from people asking questions about snorkeling, about safety, about where they should go. So we're making this guide, not about one specific island, but all the Hawaiian Islands. But remember, stay the end because we do have some island specific favorite experiences that we want to share with you. All right, number one. We get this one a lot. When can you snorkel in Hawaii? And the answer is... All year long. Yeah. It's great, but we have some caveats to that. So the weather's beautiful in Hawaii all year long. The ocean temperature goes from a low of 75 degrees to a high of 80 during the summer. So you don't need a wetsuit. That's why we always love jumping in the water. All right guys, that snorkeling was so good. So I'm gonna head back in again with a friend. But the big caveat is poor visibility. When there is high surf or if there's just been a big rain, you have murky water, it's not gonna be clear. So that's why we don't recommend going out in those. So don't go out in high surf because of poor visibility, but also because it's extremely dangerous. <laughs> extremely. <laughs> so if we had to pick, summer is the best time to snorkel, but you can snorkel year round. Just pay attention to the conditions. We'll get to more on that in safety. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. So when you're coming to Hawaii, should you rent snorkel gear or should you buy snorkel gear? So our rule of thumb is if you're only planning to go snorkeling once or twice and you're not big into snorkeling, rent gear. Don't go to the box stores and buy some cheap stuff. Go to one of the local rental shops. They have really high quality gear. They can fit you in proper fitting equipment. That is the best way to go. The goal is to always point this hole like that, right? And do a nice scissor tip, right? Plus, you don't want to buy stuff and then just throw it away. We don't need that waste in our landfill here on the islands. Another reason people prefer to rent snorkel gear is so they don't have to take up precious cargo space in their luggage and haul it all the way out here. So that is a very valid point, but there are also some alternatives that are much easier to pack than others. And that leads us to thanking the Get Wet Store for sponsoring this video. Get Wet Store is a one-stop online shop for all of your snorkeling needs. So they have adult snorkeling gear, they have children's snorkeling gear, they have snorkeling gear that Henry uses, which is really fun to watch him go out in it. And this is something really cool. They specialize in prescription goggles. So so I have a negative 10 prescription. I'm like blind as a bat. And they were able to fit me with a great mask. I mean, this tempered glass could probably go to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. It's so thick. But I've enjoyed wearing them. I can see really well. I got to admit, they are able to fill my prescription. It was impressive. They offer high quality kits that aren't going to break after just a few uses. We've been using them for months, traveling around. We've actually even fit these in our suitcase to go inner island because they're not as big as a lot of the other sets you'll find. So. It's a really good option if you want some really good quality snorkeling gear at a good price. Click the link in the description below to learn more about the Get Wet Store and the great gear that they offer. Number three, should you go snorkeling DIY? That means just leaving from the beach or should you do a snorkel tour? So we actually asked Hannah Bernard of the Hawaii Wildlife Fund her take on this question because honestly, they're both great ways to snorkel and here was her advice. She told us that she thinks tours can help minimize reef impact, which is really important. It's also a really good idea because you have trained lifeguards there who can assist you. You also have a naturalist on board who can answer a lot of your questions. And this was what I thought was a really good point, was that doing a tour first early on in your trip can enhance all of the rest of your snorkel experiences if you decide to snorkel from the shore later on. I really like about the tours is that the naturalist on board will give you a tutorial on how to snorkel, how to fit the goggles on properly, they have really nice gear. So it's like a great intro to snorkeling in Hawaii, even if you watch this video. <laughs> so if you're doing DIY, snorkeling from the shore by yourself, do a little homework first. So first, brush up on the different types of fish that you might see. I think it's a really fun way to get excited about all the snorkeling you're going to do. Especially for the kids. Yeah. And then the second, if you happen to be on West Maui, stop in at the Hawaii Wildlife Discovery Center. So Hannah and her team have done such a wonderful job creating a really immersive experience where you can learn about sea life, you can learn about conservation, you can learn about the whaling era and culture. And it's just, it's a really fun exhibit. Number four, 
where should you snorkel? So if you are not going on a tour, where do you snorkel out here? So we have videos on the, our favorite snorkeling spots for every island, so make sure you check them out. There's a link in the description below so you can see them for every single island. We've got you covered. And then just a couple quick things. So snorkel where you can do so safely. We're getting to that protecting yourself section. Also, you're not gonna wanna snorkel where there is no rocks or coral because you will not see any fish. <laughs> And then throughout the islands, there are marine life conservation districts that offer some really great snorkeling opportunities. If you want more about where to snorkel, our favorite spots on every island, how to kind of fit it into your day with, you know, the beaches and the restaurants and everything, head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash itineraries because we have itineraries for every island to help you out. Number five, protect yourself when you go out snorkeling. We do take this very seriously. Drowning is the number one cause of death for people coming to Hawaii. Number five for locals. We wanna make sure that you can come back again to Hawaii. So make sure you can snorkel safely. I just gotta give a shout out. These came, this is Henry's actually, I grabbed his, not mine. But these came in our bags with our snorkel gear from Get Wet Store. So it's a really good way to keep yourself safe in the water. But some other ways to keep yourself safe. Know your limits, all right? Snorkeling in the ocean is not like swimming in a swimming pool. So understand the ocean, understand what your limits are and make really smart choices. Which leads us to the next one is understand the lifeguard flags know the conditions in the water erica's talking about knowing your limits as in like there's going to be currents out there there's going to be waves how far can you go out in the water make sure you know what you got before you go out when in doubt don't go out don't snorkel alone make sure you are snorkeling with a buddy somebody who can help you out if you need it also wear good fitting equipment so whether you rent or you buy make sure that your masks don't fill up with water make sure that you have things that fit you and are going to be comfortable out there and please 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 wear your fins so many people don't wear fins you got to wear your fins and we haven't found this on the other islands but if you're heading to maui sign up for the snorkel report by the snorkel store this is a wonderful daily email and it tells you the weather conditions they'll even tell you the best place to snorkel each day the three major places to snorkel in hawaii we actually look at it daily for a weather report and also know where to go number six protect the marine life when you head out a great saying is leave bubbles take pictures so when you encounter marine life when you are snorkeling out here as you likely will make sure you give them their space so for turtles give them a radius of 20 feet for monk seals which are protected by federal law give them 100 feet dolphins they need 50 yards there you go we also recommend wearing sun protective clothing and mineral based reef friendly sunscreen yes so mineral based is reef friendly so do not touch or step on the reef it takes thousands of years to grow and Ah, you don't want to damage it. It's a good reason to wear your floaty. It's for protection, but also to stay above the reef. And last one, please do not feed the animals. They have all the food they need on the reef. All right, the last one, number seven. Where are the best experiences to snorkel on each of the Hawaiian islands? So we'll break down each one. Some of these are tours, some are not, some are DIY. The tour ones, we have direct booking links down below. Booking with our link helps us out, helps us make more videos. Plus, we absolutely love these tours. On the big island, it is visiting Kealakekua Bay, which is a marine life conservation district, and snorkeling at the Captain Cook Monument. So this is an easy one to do. If you want to hike down, you can DIY and hike in and hike out. You can kayak, so you can rent kayaks or go on a kayak tour, which is something we've done. It was so special to do it with Henry. It was such a great experience. Or you can do a boat tour. Heading up to Kauai now, we recommend going out on a boat tour for this one. You can check out the Nepali coast, which is absolutely stunning. And then with Holo Holo Charters, you can go out to the Hawaiian Forbidden Island of Niihau. You can't snorkel there on the island or go on the island, but they take you to a crater right offshore of the island. And it's this beautiful crater, crystal clear water. It's just a really cool experience. And that's the closest I think you can come to Niihau. On Oahu, we have Hanama Bay. Now this one, it can be tough to get into, especially during the summer. There's a reservation system. Our itineraries will walk you through with the process of getting to Hanama Bay. But I gotta admit, we love going there. It's such a beautiful spot. It's a great way to spend the day at the beach and the snorkeling is phenomenal, especially seeing the parafish. And it's wonderful that they are trying to protect this to make it so that we can visit it with our children and our grandchildren. And then on Maui, 
This one was a tough one because we have had so many wonderful, wonderful snorkeling experiences here. We think this is the best place to snorkel. One of our most unforgettable experiences has been our boat trip out to Lanai. We did it with Ultimate Whale Watch and Snorkel. We have a 10% off code for you. This was just such a nice day. We spent it together on this power raft for six hours. We hit up three different snorkeling spots and really the clencher that's just made this so magical was when we were driving through next to a pod of spinner dolphins. That was just... All right, we found dolphins. <laughs> it's great snorkeling out there. It's a nice way to go out to see Lanai. So our promo code is HVG and get 10% off. Link below to book it. All right, guys, make sure you head to our website, thehawaiivacationguide.com, because we have been putting a lot of work into this. Jordan has and we have a full tours and activities section for you to kind of help you plan if you want to do any snorkeling trips we've got some recommendations there for you those are our favorite tours that we vetted and looked at and they're absolutely amazing for it special thanks to get wet store for sponsoring this video and check out their gear we got a link below to learn more thanks for watching thank you the story is this reef was inspiration for finding nemo and the animations Ooh, there i didn't know that true cool. i don't know if it's true <laughs> it's a good start <laughs> wait really <laughs> i don't know someone said it too. okay <laughs> i just don't know what to do with my hands okay <laughs> with where to eat what beaches to go to <laughs> oh i just like wow oh my gosh oh. Oh, cutie. so talking about that video for months and months. Isn't it nice to get out of your head? It sure is. But you know what's in my head now is 